What's happening traders? Welcome to another video. It's Emmanuel from Live Free Effects. And in today's video, we're going to be diving into a crucial aspect of trading that every serious trader must develop. And that is the skill of backtesting effectively and collecting samples. I'm a firm believer that victory aren't born in the game. Victory are born in the field of practice. And backtesting is one of those things that can give you victory as you trade in real time, but you have to do it effectively. And we're going to be talking about the different ways to backtest for the most optimal results and the ways you can backtest that aren't going to work, which most traders do, and then how you can actually go about doing it that is going to give you the results that you need. This was something that took me from a trader who was consistently losing to a trader who is now making money consistently in the market and also doing the same thing over and over again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you wanna go even deeper into concepts like this, be sure to check out the Lift Free Effects private community because we dive into concepts like this, especially through our live trading session and mentorship where traders are developing your own process and ultimately getting the results that they need. It's also a place where you can find a supportive network of traders who are getting it, right? Who are serious and who just want the best for themselves and you know the community is there to help them achieve that and also there to help you achieve that so be sure to check the link down below and you know get started today let's waste no time let's dive right into the video ladies and gentlemen one of the most important things you can do for yourself as a trader is to be good at back testing and collect samples now there are a few ways to do this effectively that are actually going to make a difference because you know in terms of back testing as a whole a lot of people will tell you that it doesn't translate to the results that you will get during your live trading and that is very very true because if you are back testing or maybe you're using the simulator and you're just you know taking trades and doing that uh there are some positives right but the large majority of the time what you will see is yeah you might run your account and take it to a thousand you know percent increase in you know a short period of time but you're not going to be able to do that when you actually have real funds what i'm going to be talking about here is a different method that i have used during my trading career because i too also went down the rabbit hole of of back testing and spending thousands of hours you know just doing it but what I realized is I was doing it wrong and I didn't understand the integral parts of actually back testing you know what it is and how to do it effectively and I'm gonna be sharing that in this video so when it comes to back testing right you have two particular methods that you can use right so you have a simulator right, which you can use I'm not gonna be talking about a simulator today I'm gonna to be talking about uh, the other option which is you know just going back in time right using your trading view chart which most people have access to anyways a simulator is going to run you you know a couple dollars or a couple hundred dollars uh, depending on the simulators and they serve your purpose they are very very good the ones that I have found to be very very effective is just going back in time right and when you're going back in time and back testing in that manner you have two forms of back testing the very first back testing style is back testing for observation right you're simply going back in time you know looking at the market looking at price you know to be an observer just to understand what is going on from a price action standpoint and this is very common maybe when you are trading a new pair right if you're a new trader coming to the market and you say hey you know what you want to trade uh, a pair like your usd you've never traded it before but you hear it's a common pair uh for beginners uh to start trading right and this uh right here right there beautiful yeah and you hear that it is a common pair for beginners to start trading so what you can pretty much do is you just go back in time and you just watch its market movement this is what i call back testing for observation right you can see how price is moving you can also take a look and you can start to pay attention to when the big moves are coming into the market because as a trader trading a new pair you want to understand its liquidity distribution so these are things that you might want to factor in and you say okay well we're getting some pretty big movements here you know we're getting some pretty solid movements here and if you go a little bit further down you can say okay well these are some pretty solid uh movements so you can take a look okay this happened 8 a.m 8 15 eastern time that's the new york session okay so this pair moves a bit 
during the New York session. This is 2 a.m., 2.30 Eastern time. That is the start of the London session. Of course, it is Euro USD, so there's going to be some correlation in terms of its movement in the London session, and then also in the New York session as well. You take a look at this, this is about seven. So it moves very well during the London session and during the New York session, okay, where uh, you have this dead time right here. This is, you know, the hours of, uh, I believe, 10 a.m., right? London session's closing and pretty much, okay, this is the Asian session, okay? So from my observation right now, the market's slow during the Asian. So these are how you can go into back testing and it's great when you are starting to get familiar with a new market, with a new pair that you're trading. I don't always recommend just hearing about a pair and just start trading. It is always best to do your due diligence. In business, if you're going to invest in a company or a corporation and give them a portion of your money, you're going to look at their back end. At least a good investor will do that. So you are. it makes sense that you do the same thing with trading. You wanna understand its tendencies, right? And each market will have its own personality. Some markets will be more volatile than others. Some markets will not be. You know, some markets, you know, might respect market structure very well. Other markets, you know, might not. So back testing for observation is one way for you to back test. And all you simply need is to go back in time and start to just, you know, kind of just pay attention. It's a more chilled manner of back testing, right? You're just observing. You're just okay. You know, based on your understanding based on the knowledge that you've acquired up until this point and you're just sort of applying it here and saying okay you know what this is this is what okay it's moving really well during the london session okay and then we had another follow through during the new york session as well and pretty much you know after 12 p.m right here uh eastern time we started to see a slowdown in liquidity but before that this was the new york session and this was the 2:30 the London session as well. So we had a little bit of a push. So this is back testing for observation. It can create a lot of, okay, when is the market moving, right? The next form of back testing is back testing for precision. And this right here is my favorite form of back testing. And this is what I teach the members in the lift for effects community to do. If you've maybe watched a few videos in the uh, YouTube, you might hear me say that, but I hammer this into, you know, the students, you know, the, the, and, and, and the traders in the community, because it is extremely, extremely important. It is your way to create consistency in your overall trading process. Almost nothing beats it. So when, I come, when it comes to back testing for precision, there are a few things that you have to consider. Not too much, but the very first thing is to know what you're looking for. I call that clarity, strategy clarity. You must have clarity in terms of what you're looking for uh, in the market. Right. And that could be, let's say you are you have a particular strategy that you've learned, whether you've learned it from me, you've observed it for yourself uh, by looking at your trading journal and you say, hey, you know what, maybe I need to dive more into this. So let's say, for instance, the accumulation and distribution strategy. Right. You have that right there. What you simply want to do is you want to come into the market and look at that, you know, look for that exact movement. So if we're diving into the accumulation and distribution, what we're going to take a look at right there is we're going to take a look at that. So this right here is an accumulation zone, right? We have an accumulation zone that has formed. This is the five minute time frame, right? And what you need to do is you need to understand the parts of the accumulation and distribution, you know, like the stages, right? The, you need to understand the stages of the particular strategy that you are going to be back testing. So you can actually back test it effectively because once you, the way you do one is the way you will essentially do pretty much 90% of them, all of them, right? Price might be different, but the process doesn't change. And with accumulation and distribution, you have four stages. The very first stage is accumulation zone. So we have the accumulation zone right there, which is, you know, this is stage one. You know, stage two now is the first distribution. So we have our first distribution, which is right here. And that is the part where price breaks out of the accumulation zone for the very first 
time. And then the next stage is we have the retest, right? And this right here is where you're looking to get involved into the trade. So we have the retest right here. This is where you're waiting for the bearish momentum to die down and for more buyers to come in. And this is where you likely either get involved or maybe you wait for more of a bullish momentum and you get involved right there. But outside of knowing what your strategy is and what you're looking for, the next thing that you wanna pay attention to is time and price. When you are back testing and you're going back in time, it is extremely important that you are looking at the market at the particular time of day that you're going to be coming into the market. So the very first thing I like to do in this regard is I like to go over the settings. And if you are using Trading View, Trading View, uh, which is the most common you know, market, it's free. Uh, you can click on events and session time or session breaks and that will create a separation between the days right so now regardless of what time frames that you're going especially if you're on the lower time frame you can kind of see okay this is one day worth of movement i am predominantly a new york trader so if i am back testing and going back in time i only want to be paying attention to price action at the time of day that I am going to be sitting on my computer desk, right? And right there is, you know, if we take a look at this, this is 7.30, I usually come to the market at about 7.30. So 7.30, I'm analyzing by eight o'clock, I'm looking to get involved in my trade, you know, 7.45 at the earliest. So if I'm coming to the market right now and I know that, wow, I'm seeing this, you know, break, boom, and you know, we're getting the retest by 7.30, okay, you know, eight o'clock right there, we're starting to see the bullish momentum come to the market. So I know that this right here is an opportunity that I would have been taking during, you know, my time in the market. So right there, place my stop loss, okay, beautiful 30 pep, right, or 35 pep, right, we can just place it right there, and we see that the market traded up and actually went up to about 94 pep you know from here and this was the final stage and we call that main distribution right so accumulation we got the first distribution we have the retest which is where you start to prepare to get involved in the trade and then you know when you get involved in the trade you're ho hoping <laughs> to see the main distribution and what you do here is you start to collect samples this is what i call precision and you're coming in at the time of day that you are going to be looking at the market you're going to be trading so it's not about back testing the very first one was back testing for observation that's not you know you're just observing you're just paying attention but precision means you're actually you know trying to build an understanding of exactly what happens during the time of your um your trading session right that's how you how mark how the market moves during that time that is how you build precision and consistency in your overall process the next thing when it comes to precision back testing is you want to use multi time frame right and what this means is you're going to be collecting samples or you're going to be going over what you just did here not just on the five minute time frame you're going to be going on the one minute time frame you're going to be going on the 15 minute time frame you're going to be taking a look on the one hour time frame and you're going to be going through the same process so whatever you're looking for right whether it is you know a market structure break an entry you want to be doing that on multiple different time frames so you can start to see of course you know that it is better to focus on your execution time frame but you want to create that understanding across different time frames so let's take a look at another, another example here you know going over um you know okay let's see here okay this is okay we'll use this example here so right there again this is gold on the one minute time frame what we have here is we also have another accumulation zone. I think we can put the session breaks right here just so we can see the difference in times and day. So on the one minute, you know, it's a lot, little bit larger because you're going off of a, a, a smaller, a smaller range. So what we have here is we have our accumulation zone, accumulation zone. This is stage one of the accumulation and distribution strategy. 
right? And the next thing is you are coming into the market at the time that you're going to be trading. This is time and price when your market is actually going to be moving as well. And gold moves very well during the New York session. So what we have here is we have price essentially accumulates and then we have our first distribution right at about 819 because you need a candlestick uh, close that's not what I'm looking for you need a candlestick close right there and this was the first one that gave us that so this is the first distribution and next up we are looking for the retest and here at about 830 we got the retest back into the zone and price essentially took off from there and this is where you can say okay you know what i'm going to get involved in price and maybe you go long as the market is doing you know breaking above and you can set your stop loss at about 30 you know let's say 30 pep right there and see what the market so price at the height of it the market gave about 50 pep but i also have my 30 pep rule which means if i am day trading i am taking a minimum of 30 pep off the table and if the market continues to run it runs so you know we would have taken something off the table here and then essentially price didn't continue moving forward but in terms of the accumulation and distribution it played out perfectly and we got the first you know the first distribution to retest and we have the main distribution distribution here so this right there is what you do when you're back this and you're looking at this and you say okay well now i'm going to start to create a folder the next step is starting to collect sample right and you can go on the five minute time frame you can collect 10 samples you can go on the one minute time frame you can collect you know another sample by taking screenshots on trading view here you can go right there you can take a snapshot bang you know and download and put it on a folder i just like to you know just take a, a, a actual like screenshot of my actual setup here and boom you know do that and boom right so i would say maybe there's a better way for you to you take uh take the a picture of the entire of the entire thing and boom and you put that in a different uh folder right in a in, in a folder of accumulation and distribution sample right so you want to collect a minimum of of 60 to 100 samples i would say probably more towards the 100 sample mark because if you can see that particular strategy you know multiple times 100 times you're not going to be afraid to put your money on the line and you're going to be more confident a lot of traders come into the market they're very they're very scared they're very anxious that's because you don't have clarity in what you're looking for but once you have done the work and you have collected samples of the same thing over and over and over again right you start to understand how it works you're not going to need me to tell you execute that trade right and this is something that you know backtesting in the software might not give you right and likely won't give you because you're just going so quickly you're not actually building the pattern recognition that needs that needs to be there when you actually come into the market in real time because once you start to do this what you're going to start to see is you're going to start to see the moves happen okay and then you're going to start to anticipate and ladies and gentlemen that is where the money is made the anticipation process it is not in the execution process it is seeing something analyzing waiting for price to make its move and you start to anticipate okay price is going to come back in here and boom i'm going to execute right there and you know let the market do its thing if you anticipate properly the execution takes care of itself so i wanted to share this really quickly uh with you guys this is something that we dive into you know traders in the live free effects community they know i help them essentially build your overall trading process and you know the results are speaking for itself now as more traders are passing your funded challenge and you know even you know even traders in the community uh, in the in the youtube channel who have talked about you know doing this exact process of seeing the or seeing the results from it uh so ladies and gentlemen don't take my word for it start to do this for yourself 
right? And you know, learn one strategy, whether it's the accumulation and distribution or another strategy and go collect samples from it, right? If I open my Google Drive here, uh, you might, you will see samples of a lot of different strategies. And uh, you know, those allowed me to gain an understanding of what I was looking for and what I needed to learn. Uh, but now I, the way that I just presented it to you will allow you to breathe to, to create precision in your overall trading like no other. If you do this consistently, it's just, there's just no way. There's no way that you're not gonna start to see an increase in your overall win rate in better execution and higher prop profitability. Not gonna talk too much, you know, go try this out for yourself. It's Manny from Live Free FX. Thank you guys for watching another video. Uh, leave a comment down below in terms of what you learn and how the journey is going for you. You can always come back to this and watch it just so you can practice uh, and, and get the insights that you need if you need to watch it multiple times. Uh, but as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're out there living free. Peace.